One of the biggest gripes with Google Home to date was its lack of support for multiple accounts. Living in a household with multiple people meant you either had to share things like calendar and music accounts or get multiple Google Home speakers. Today, Google fixes that. Google Home now supports multiple accounts with personalization and neural network voice recognition. Here's how to set it up. When you open the Google Home app, you should see a notification that says multi-user is now available. If you don't see that notification, tap the devices button, an icon of a television and speaker in the top right corner. Tap the action overflow button in the top right corner of the card for your Google Home and select settings. You should see a notification there that also says multi-user is now available. You can also get to the setup menu by going to devices, settings, more, and shared devices. Click the plus sign in the bottom right corner to begin setup. Tapping one of these notifications will begin the process of teaching Assistant your voice. You must say the phrases, hey Google, and okay Google, twice each. Tap continue, then tap invite if you want to add someone else to the Google Home. Additional users will need to download the Google Home app and go through the same setup process, but since their account might not have already been connected, they will need to link their own music accounts and personalize the Google Home preferences to their liking by customizing news sources, linking their Netflix account, and tweaking what their My Day includes. This also means they will need to add smart home devices to their assistant account as well. This keeps just anyone from joining your Google Home and being able to control your smart devices. To set up another account from the same device, open the Google Home app and hit the hamburger button in the top left corner. Select the drop down to select an already connected account or hit manage account and add account to sign into a new one. Then go through the same setup process. Up to six accounts can be added to a single Google Home. You can see all the active accounts in the Google Home by going to Devices, Settings, and Linked Accounts. There, you can remove your account, but you cannot remove other accounts. Once more than one user is set up on a Google Home speaker, nothing needs to be done to switch between accounts, since Assistant has learned each of the user's voices. When you say things like, tell me about my day, your personal calendar and traffic report will be referenced. When you ask to play music, your preference and music service will play by default. For more on Google Home and other tips and tricks, be sure to check out cnet.com forward slash how to.